Um, it's Craig, and I'm joined by James Vincent McMorrow. How are you? All right. I'm not too bad, Craig. How are you? Uh, really good, really good. I tell you what, 750 million streams so far on your tunes is pretty good going, isn't it? I think we're up over a billion. You've, you've, you've taken 250 million from me. Well, I'll take that away. Then we'll have them no. back and it's over a billion. There you go. A, a billion <laughs> streams on your music is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so funny because, like, obviously all these numbers are so abstract that is a huge like a bill someone told me a week ago or, or sorry a month ago in a yeah. meeting they were like oh you've passed a billion streams and i was like that is insane what does that even mean in real terms because yeah. like obviously you know i can't quantify it but it's huge and it's crazy but then there's always someone that's got more like this you're gonna find you're gonna you'll talk to someone tomorrow that probably has a billion streams of one song so it's like and then what i'll, I'll do is i'll take two hundred and fifty thousand off them and get it down to 750 million how's that <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, if you could do anything to make me look better and make anybody else look worse, I'm all about it. Now, I recommend people check you out doing Higher Love. The vocals on that, absolutely stunning. You've got a great range. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, I've worked very, very hard at it. <laughs> is it. Is it hard to stay that that high for so long with your, with, with your vocals? No, like, uh, to be honest, like, the, the high, higher, the better to a, a degree. Like, I just, I always sang high. My favorite singers when I was a kid were people like Chris Cornell, Jeff Buckley, Fiona Apple. Like, I listened to a lot of female singers, and that's where I learned in my house, was, like, listening along to, like, Joni Mitchell records and stuff like that. So, um, the, the high the high part was always sort of where I was most comfortable. It's just where I, it's where I belong, I guess. I mean, I, I like the, the quote someone's put here. Uh, he sings, plays, and produces anything. I think that's quite an awesome. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Like, well, I, I do. That. It's true. But anything, anything is is making it like that's highly ambitious. I wonder if I can live up to that expectation. But yeah, I will now, do anything. Last, last month, you did a tune with Rudimental. Uh, yeah, which which I checked out, which was absolutely awesome. And this time you're coming back with a tune, Paradise. Now I was checking out YouTube today. You've just put a live version on that today, haven't you? Yeah, literally just this morning. Um, because we are well, I am playing like my first show back in a year and a half next week, and so we wanted to just put something out to kind of like memorialize it i guess so i think it's up on youtube but I'm, I'm literally about to jump off here and announce it this second so um yeah that's that's something that is happening how does that feel to be doing your first live show in such a long time with, with covid being you know so re uh, relevant over the past 12 months really yeah i mean it's it's quite quite strange really emotional i think that we all like as a unit or like around me now that it's happening like the tickets went on sale this morning there was only 500 of them they broke the servers of the 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 company that was selling the tickets so there's obviously like an insane demand i think they had like 50 or 60 thousand people trying to get 500 tickets wow. so it kind of speaks to just a how much people have missed this and b the amount of pressure i guess that's on me to kind of step up next week and play the first like this is the first show that will have happened in ireland in, in a year and a half like they've given me that show which is an amazing honor but I don't even know what we're going to do or how it's going to feel. I miss it so much. Like, I can't even tell you as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to go straight into rehearsals with everyone. But like, I just, it has been the strangest year and a half to have it taken away. So for it to come back like this just feels I genuinely a little bit magical. Yeah. Paradise. Uh, great hook. Fan it's just a happy song. It's just a real happy song. Is that, is that what you wanted to release? Something that makes people feel good? Yeah. I think always, my goal has never been to make people feel bad. It's always just made, been to make people feel something like I want, like music, music is designed in my mind to be quite transient. Like you, you, f you listen to something, it makes you feel a way you take that with you into your day. Maybe it stays with you a little bit longer, but it, it, it's always my favorite music is always music that impacts me and then kind of moves on. And then you come back to it. And with paradise, I've always been trying to get to a place where I could make a, a piece of music that says something that speaks to like the idea that, you know, maybe life won't, be what you want it to be but that doesn't mean you can't find that joy in those moments mm -hmm. and appreciate that moments can be fleeting so i've always been trying to write that song and with paradise like i that was the first time i ever got to it in a way that i was like i've, I've done it i've said what i want to say then i brought a kids choir in on it and they sang it and they sort of sang it with such joy in the studio and that gave me personally like an amount of love for the song that i didn't even think was possible so yeah it's a joyful hopeful song while also you know like dealing with like real ideas and real subjects. 
And what I like about it is you, with a song, you usually get, you know, the, the chorus is there, but it just feels like one chorus, the whole, the whole song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that. Again, we just, when we wrote the song, it was in LA, it was late at night. And my friends, um, a producer called Lil Silva from Bedford, he flew over to hang with me. And we just started singing. Everything I sang was the melodies that ended up on the, on the, on the album version, like the first day. And everything just felt like a hook. And we wrote, I wrote the lyric basically in real time, which I almost never do. And it just, there was something about it that everything just felt beautifully special. And it's only like two and a half minutes of music. And I, I kind of wanted people to like, want to listen to it again because everything in it is kind of has that feel to it. So yeah, I'm glad you, you think that because that's what we were going for. And it's one of those tunes that I can imagine you've got it in the car, the sun shining, you know, someone's looking better. It's just one of those tunes. Uh, yeah, I hope so. That's again, that's what we that's what I wanted was a summer a summer tune. I've never had one before. Like I've always had sort of bigger ballads or bigger sort of heavier songs, but I've never had a song that I've thought, oh, I want to hear this with I want to be on a street and I want to see someone drive past me with their windows down listening to it. Like that's kind of my hope for the song. Can you imagine people uh when you're on stage at the gigs singing to this one? It's gonna be awesome. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like spectacular. Like they've got a week to learn every single lyric before we go out next week and do it. So like, set the bar really high for everyone. Now you've got an album, uh, Grapefruit, set for July. Uh best name for an album ever. How many tracks we're gonna get on this album? There's 14. There's 14 tracks on the record. Uh yeah. can we expect lots of tracks like Paradise? What can we expect from you? Or some big ballads in there? Yeah, you know what? Like I, I, I say that this is like my chaotic album, but that's right, okay. kind of, but that's, but it's intentional. Like I, I've always been a chaotic person, and I've always tried to apply an amount of linear structure to the album or the studio process. And this is the first time where I just didn't. I was just like, this is the song I want to make on this particular day, and then I'll just move on. Um, sorry, my phone is ringing. That's all right. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So this, I would always just be like this is what the music I want to make on a particular day. I don't, don't feel the need to worry about whether that song syncs with that song or where it goes, because that's how I've always loved music. That's, that's how I've always enjoyed music was like with sort of like a chaotic nature. I listen to one song off this album and then I'll pull out another album when I was a kid. And then when obviously on Spotify or Apple music, I just, I just go from song to song. So this album is, is chaos, but in a, in a really beautiful way to my mind. So you have songs that are speak to like my earlier start of my career which is more guitar based and then you have songs that speak to the sort of my, my love of hip-hop and then you also have songs like paradise there's a song called planes in the sky which is probably the my most favorite song that i've ever made like i love it i like i listen to it in the car to an almost embarrassing degree i just get in the car and i just turn it on and people are with me and they're like you, you shouldn't be doing this people can see you in your car but i don't care i just love it because it's something that i've always wanted to make and i've always wanted to be as proud of a piece of work as I am about this album. So yeah, that's, that's where it is. That's what it, and I hope people like it when they hear it in a month. That's quite interesting to hear from an artist that you, artists have styles, but you've gone, do you know what? I, I just want to put this here. I want to produce this one. That's really interesting. Really interesting. Yeah. Everybody is, I've always been the person that has done the different thing. Like my career for five albums now has been based on people going oh james is doing this now and like so the first album was obviously more singer songwriter based the second album was a lot more electronic a lot more subdued the third album was me with my sort of my pop instincts and the fourth one was just like almost like an art project i've always just done what i wanted to do and it's worked mm. and people have have embraced it like you know i've always like without being like a superstar i've managed to accrue over like a billion streams like you say and i've i've never played a show that hasn't been sold out and with people that understand who i am and what i do so i've always just thought people understand this they'll they'll appreciate what i'm doing and i trust that they'll trust me do you know what i mean like that yeah. i take this very seriously and i take the responsibility of being a musician very seriously and i don't want to let anybody down but least of all myself so i've just i i think that kind of wildness has been my career and i've just kind of tried to refine it down into album form for the first time well i recommend if people haven't checked you out they do they check out the live version of paradise as well which i i saw this morning i put it in on youtube and it was there and it's like oh this guy's amazing live it's no. fantastic to see the band you've got with you as well phenomenal band yeah they're the best they're the best i'm literally like i said about to go rehearse with them and, I, and i'm so excited as much as i love talking to you i am so excited to go and be in a room and play <laughs> music with them because they're like my musical heroes like i've gotten to put together a, a group of musicians that i am a fan of so getting to 
sort of be on stage with them again and even doing the paradise video we got to spend two days in a studio making live records and it's just it was just pure energy well i'm gonna let you go and rehearse now uh <laughs> thank you spend some time doing that if people want to check you out facebook twitter instagram you're all over that all the things all the things tiktok blowing up tiktok at the moment with my my live versions and stuff so yeah we're everywhere everywhere yeah. you want me to be yeah well, james it's been amazing catching up uh good luck with the single good luck with the album and we'll speak again soon Absolute pleasure. Thank you so much, Greg.